I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars What's up guys, Mr. Allen. See, this is our daily biblical devotional. And, you know, God doesn't look at your outward appearance like man does. You know, as people, as flesh bodies, we go around and we look and we judge people by well, how they look on the outside. Oh, that guy goes to the gym. He looks really fit. She looks really fit. They must be a good person. That's not how God looks at people, you know. And, uh... Who you strive to be and act is very important. He looks at your heart and who you're trying to be. How you're trying to behave. Samuel 16, so chapter 16, verse 7 says, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on his height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. If we're to look at someone in the way that God does, it takes immense spiritual maturity. Spending time with God and His Word like you are right now, studying His Word with me, study it on your own, pray to Him, this will make you spiritually mature more and more over time, especially when you ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit. We want to become less consumed and controlled by the flesh. I am controlled by this flesh body daily. It has so many needs, and we want to become more spiritually mature. Matthew chapter 9, verse 36 says, and this is speaking about Jesus, When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. You know, Jesus sees us in our situation, and your daily situation might be hard. And God and Jesus, they have compassion on you. And they see you not for your flesh body, but for your heart, who you are. So it's important every day to try to bond with God and pray for spiritual maturity. Dear Lord in heaven, it's Alan praying with some great people around the world on YouTube who are just blessed to have here. And we pray, we all bow our heads and pray to you right now that you may touch us with the Holy Spirit and that you may strengthen us and give us a spiritual maturity that we may grow to know you, God, and lead by Jesus' example that we may become better people and be pleasing to you, God. May your will be done. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. That's our daily biblical devotional today. And by the way, check out that artwork up there. Looks really cool. I don't know what this is exactly, but I've been seeing a lot of artwork all over with Jesus with this flaming heart. So I might have to look into that a little bit more. Let me know in the comments if you know what that means. And I want to hear from you guys. Please comment down below. Subscribe. I need you guys to subscribe so we can have our daily meetings about God and be a strong spiritual family. We are a spiritual family here. And share this on Twitch, not Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit. Get this out on Reddit. That really makes the video go viral. I will see you guys next time. Slap that thumbs up button. Bye bye. I'm running out of time. Every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby. I don't wanna miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the stars. Or hang out in hotel bars. Driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the stars.